Good afternoon, Rob Williams along with me, Trisha Mackey. We're bringing you breaking news going on in Pike County. That's where police are investigating the death of eight people. Now, Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine and Pike County Sheriff Charles Reeder confirmed that at least eight people are dead. Uh, the Attorney General has dispatched to the crime scene, but he is kind enough to join us by phone to give us the very latest and give you the very latest on the investigation. Um, Attorney General, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. What can you tell us? Well, this is a very a sad situation. We have uh, eight people uh, who are dead. Uh, they were found today in four separate houses. Uh, in, in fact, we thought we're, it was three, and then about an hour ago, uh, found an individual dead in, in another house. Uh, this is in Pike County, but it's over, uh, frankly, close uh, to the Adams County line. This is all uh, out, out in the county. It looks like there were other uh, much, much younger uh, children in the house. Uh, you know, we have we have six adults, what looks like two uh, teenagers who are deceased, but there were much, much smaller children uh, who were at the house who were safe and, and were taken from the house. It's just a very uh, sad situation, uh, horrible horrible situation. It looks like the victims all are related, all one family. And this is, you know, just early on in the investigation. Uh, this thing has just really got us started. Uh, you know, Sheriff uh, Reeder uh, asked us to, to come in and be of assistance. Uh, so we have at least 12 of our agents who are in the county now working those crime scenes, uh, four separate crime scenes. Just, uh, just grisly, just horrible. Mike, um, what can you tell us about the shooter? Because I know earlier today you said something about the possibility that the shooter could still be on somewhere. We have no well, idea. Well, we don't know at this point if the shooter is among the deceased. That is possible, uh, but we don't really know that. What about, so, does, it, does it look like there was one shooter or multiple shooters? I don't think we can tell that at this point. Uh, you know, these are execution style uh, shootings, just, just horrible. My, my, heard... my, my, my question for you, Mike, is this. Um, you said that it is not an active shooter situation. It's like not an active shooting. I think that, I think that, yeah, I think that that phrase is a little misleading. Okay. Uh, I mean, what it means is we don't know of an active shooter who is out there. Uh, what, what we, what we don't, we can't tell what we don't know. What we don't know is whether the person who did this or the people who did this are deceased and are among the bodies that we have found. The indication is that that is not true, that there is a, there is another individual who has not been found, who is, who is out. Uh, so, you know, I think people just need to be cautious. Uh, there is, there is a, a, certainly a, a possibility that there is a shooter out there or someone who has killed uh, eight people. So if you're in that area, just move with caution. Um, you said that your agents with the Bureau of Criminal Investigation have descended on the scene. When do you dispatch those agents and why were they called into this scene? Uh, we exist uh, in the Attorney General's office and, and our uh, ECI exists really to help local law enforcement. And that's what they're doing here. Uh, we, we do not have jurisdiction to come in and be any part of an investigation unless we are asked. Uh, Sheriff Reeder uh, asked us to come in uh, to, to work with his uh, team on this investigation. And, and it's our people who are doing the crime scene. We have people who that's all they do uh, is do crime scenes. So it's certainly no reflection on, on the sheriff's men and women. But uh, they asked us to do the crime scene. We are doing that. Uh, or crime scenes is actually four, and we are also very much involved uh, in the investigation. We're going to have uh, a briefing uh, for the news media at, at 4 o'clock to try to uh, give as much information out as we have at that point, so it's just about an hour from now. Now, Mike, I realize that you said that these are uh, members of the same family. Is the thought here that this is a domestic a family situation, or are there any truths to the rumors of something else, something bigger, that there were threats um, or retaliation to this of some family? Sort. 
we don't know. It, you know, it would just be nothing but pure speculation right. at this point for me to, to guess. We, we don't know the answer to that at all. And that's something, obviously, as the investigation unfolds, we're going to uh, find out. Here's a question for you. I mean, you, you mentioned it already it's at four different homes, and it seems like it's spread out kind of over the same property. How challenging is that when you descend on a scene and start to investigate, and you have four separate crime scenes that are connected? Well, it takes a long time to work one crime scene, so it just takes a lot of people uh, who are experienced at working crime scenes and try to you know, put it together. Obviously, what happens at one scene or what you, you're able to determine from one scene may impact what you could learn about the other scene. So while we have different people out, um, you know, at some point, obviously, we can, we can compare notes and see exactly where we are. But it's, you know, it is four crime scenes. That's very, very unusual. Uh, you usually have one crime scene and you, you work that crime scene. But uh, there's at least four uh, out there. Mike, do you know how the proximity of those four crime scenes? I mean, could if the family members have heard the gunshots if they were in a different home? You know, I've not actually looked at. I'm going out there shortly. Uh, I was actually in, in, in Cleveland and got the call. I was uh, working on a uh, uh, panel that was put together by Senator Portman on the drug problem. So I have not looked at the uh, the layout. Uh, when I get, I'm, I'm due there in just a few minutes. I'm going to certainly do that. It is all in the same general area. Mm -hmm. okay. it, it is, it is you know, within a few miles of each other. Yeah, we're looking at aerial photos as we are speaking to you of this plot of land that we are told is kind of like a big old rural area that, owned by the family, and they put several houses on that. Um, any truth to the rumors at all that there is some kind of an investigation going, that police are pursuing someone, possibly... Um, down the highway, uh, you know, a shooter or shooters? Well, I'm not aware of that. Uh, you know, I'm not aware of that. We have a lot of different departments who have come in to give assistance, uh, but I'm not, I'm not aware of that. All right. And, and as the Attorney General mentioned that there is going to be a press conference at 4. We're going to carry that live uh, as we look at these aerial pictures of the investigation that's happening. Uh, members of the Bureau of Criminal Investigation agents with them have uh, descended on the scene as well and attorney general mike wine is getting mike dewine is getting there too so we should get more information but bottom line you're talking about eight people are dead they're all related and there are four different crime scenes and right now we don't know if the shooter is among the dead or if the shooter is out there um you're saying that it's not like an active situation where you have to kind of be on lockdown but you're urging people in that area just to be cautious, I would assume, because this is a person, if they are out there, might be responsible for the killings of eight people, correct? Well, that, that's right. And it looks like the, the, the victim family, is, is uh, name is Roden. Uh, and so, you know, I think that anybody who is a member of that family or uh, is close to them might be concerned. Well, we, look, we just don't know what the motive was. We don't. We could speculate, but we we, we just don't know at all. Yeah, point well, well I, taken. I think people just be careful. I don't think anybody should panic. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, people need to uh, be paying attention. Mike, you said that two uh, kids were taken to the hospital. Do you have any idea on how old they were? The report I got that we're still trying to nail down, but we have some very young, uh, you know, children. Uh, Possibly as young as just a few days old. Oh, so. and, and but were they were they were no, these not, two injured? Not wrong. So they not were just harmed. taken to the hospital as a precaution, I guess, right? Yeah, not not harmed. Not okay. Harmed. How old were uh, you? Said some teenagers were among the dead. Do you know I, their I, ages? No, no, I do not. You don't. And, and, and my other question for you is: You said there were small children in the home where um, you found some of the bodies. Was anybody else spared, or were there only very small children who were spared? Uh, don't don't have that information. Okay. Yet. So. Well, Mike, you have um, cleared up some information, but again, this is an active situation. Uh, this happened earlier today. When did you get the call? And when did this when did this happen? Was it in the ten o'clock hour this morning? You know, I'm going to uh, get time nailed down. Uh, it was this morning. Uh, I called uh, right after I came off uh, Senator Portman. And, and here's one other question for you, because we do not want to give away identity before it's time, but do you have the breakdown in terms of the adults 
uh, whether they were male or female? No, don't 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 have that. Okay. I'll try to have that as much as we can at four o'clock. Okay, we will. Um, we of course, Mike Dewine.